Okay, we absolutely cannot do anything main quest related. Otherwise, I would be a liar, liar, pants on fire, and we can't have that. That would be such a, <laughs> a funny clickbait, just a head in cookies. Just every so often, we'll have to do like a little cutout of like my head on somebody actually in a hot tub, and then people click on it, and it's literally just like cookies all the way up to here. Yes, yeah, green screen, and it's like, uh, it's like a giant bowl of um, cookie crisp. That's what it is. Okay, continue. Are you almost done with Horizon? Honestly, I'm not sure. I feel like the end of the game should probably be very close to under where the like space shuttle launch thing is, but I'm not sure. Ray, how's it going? This Gavon came through here. The end seems like a good place to start asking. <laughs> poor, poor hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Okay. We need to re... <laughs> oh. Yes, deep secrets of the earth. This right here, I feel like if it's not getting very very close to the end of the game like i don't even know what is okay so let's start with the owner of a food stall in bright market seeks aid in tracking down a persistent thief investigate the storehouse i'm very uncomfortable What's this? this Karja gear? It fits you well. Hello? What's happening? talking to himself is that the thief and i just totally let him get away not bad how's horizon zero dawn been treating you really really well i've been i turned my head for a second this barrel's been moved recently oh there we go tracks Did somebody get a good look at that guy's face? <laughs> He's just complimenting your outfit choice. You know, a lot of people, a lot of people got a lot to say on this outfit. I mean, I say if you got abs, show them. Ooh, does this guy live in a cave? Salmon the fruit? Spoiled fruit. The rabbits seem to like it though. Oh look, the thief dropped more fruit for me to follow. I can see it in all this grass. Excuse me, rabbits. All right. Somebody, please note whoever it is that we're after has a thing for rabbits. Oh my god. 
Wait, wait, what's that guy's name? Elmer Fudd? Shh, be very, very quiet. It goes away. This guy's trying to lure all of the rabbits. seems suspicious uh oh sorry yeah yeah this is uh it's fire resistant armor okay it's not just flashy abs it actually has a purpose hmm i guess a sawtooth Weapons. I feel like whoever this person is, they are purposely trying to lure us into harm's way. My focus might see something here. Hey, Bors, out of the way so I can have a look. Yeah, move, Bors, please. Is this the last of the fruit? The heck? Trail of footprints this time. Your eyes, ears, and nose peeled. We don't know what we're up against. <clears throat> There's the thief, right? Splenda! How's it going? I mean, Aloy do be cute in it, though. I mean, I'm not gonna lie and say that didn't play a role in me picking this, but... Um... What do you guys think? Do we kill him now, or do we save him so then we can kill him later? Is it really... Does he need to die? Maybe he had a good reason for stealing the fruit. All right, let's get more info. Do I want to go down there. Or do I want okay. to go down there? None of these are hitting. Oh, God! Oh, no! Oh, no! 
went past! Okay, we're fine. Nobody panic. I clearly have this under control, so you don't need to panic. That's the good news. You know what? This is the first fight of the stream. I need a little warm-up time. I just kind of went into life-saving mode, just completely dry. Oh, this guy ran away, did he? I can't believe Check he's... the area with my focus, maybe. I just completely left us here. Well, I'm definitely going to take this into consideration when it comes to sparing this guy's life. These will keep. Thank you, Savage! You saved me from the sun's judgment. I did what now? I left the misery of Sunfall not long ago, knowing that I'd never be welcome back in Meridian. So, I've been stealing food from a woman at Bright Market just to oh, survive. But the Glint Hawks must be the judgment of the sun. You believe it attacked you because you were stealing? Why else? What if I beg forgiveness from the lady? Will that absolve me and save me from the Glinthawks? I took care of the Glinthawks, but yes, you should return and apologize. The woman you stole from is kind. She'll forgive you. The sun has spoken! Thank you again, Savage. May the sun light your way! <sighs> Great. People finally stopped calling me outcast, and now it's Savage. True. Should we follow that guy? We should probably follow him, just to make sure he doesn't get in more trouble, right? Oh. oh no, that's a boar. Oh, he's gone forever. Hopefully he's okay. Hopefully he's just Saving okay. For the trail. <laughs> Ray is panic? I don't know what you're talking about. You guys started to panic. I had to hold it all together. Even with, like, aim being a little rusty. This guy is like a magician. Okay, well, that is one distraction down. Oh, should we go here? Um, so apparently we've been very close to stalkers this whole time. Okay, we need to go here. Run. We need to run now. We need this metal flower that's all the way out here. Uh, all right, 
We're gonna stay close to the shore because honestly, I would rather fight snap maws than um, stalkers. Hello? Elite Bandit Heavy. Well, I don't have time for that. What is that? Oh, they're getting destroyed. Alright, well, we're just gonna sneaky on through. Dude, those bandits have way bigger issues, honestly. to the top of this because that's probably where this uh right metal flowers probably at the top of this definitely not near all those samos gonna be up there. Oh, can I walk up this? Ah. We are safe for now. It is okay. <laughs> Today's stream Damn brought to dust. you by maybe we could use the dust to our advantage. I've never actually checked. Do you become more, um, more sneaky in dust? Quick way down. Let's go. Okay. <clears throat> when you are so full of sorrow that you can't walk, can't cry anymore, think about the green foliage that sparkles after the rain. When the daylight exhausts you, when you hope a final night will cover the world Think about the awakening of a young child. I will consider the awakening of a young child once I get out of here safely. Or do I just fast travel? What is this? Next distraction, maybe? Wait, what am I supposed to be doing? Did I finish that one? I think I did. Okay. Let's do Curious best poem so far. I feel like it is 
Hello. Hello, Ricardo. Um. We also need another Ravenger. Should I do that? Or Kira's proposal? No, let's do Kira's proposal. Um, yeah, I feel like that one was just like, hey, when you're really, really sad and like you kind of don't want to live anymore, just think about when you're a little kid and you're just so excited to like wake up and live your best day. Every day is a day full of new adventure. That one's sort of weird because it's kind of like, <laughs> it's like, why don't you just stop being sad and pretend you're a little kid again, duh. Easy. I don't think, we don't have any Ravengers nearby, do we? We're just gonna fast travel here. Okay? It's okay. We're gonna fast travel. I know it feels kind of cheaty, but it's not. Um, we have a lot of distractions to get through, you know? And there's Glint Hawks here already. Dusk Mesa. Now I need to find some place too high to reach, if I'm to believe anything Fernand said. Alright, so get to the top. something here and it's empty spear girl of course hello you found it the perfect location for an ambush <laughs> now throw down that magnificent spear and we'll let you live who's we you've obviously heard of me you know what i'm capable of why do you think this will turn out well for you i like the odds get her why do I bother? Uh, kill or escape? For none ran off. Right to the Meridian docks, I'll bet. Well. That was kind of a sad ambush. I like feel bad a little bit. Uh, I mean, maybe they did try their very best. I 
fast traveler should I walk? <laughs> Sets an ambush, doesn't trap the ambushy. Sets an ambush, and then, right, exact. they waited until I got to the very tippity top, and then it was like, okay, well, now, if you're gonna try to, like, physically come up here to get me, I can just shoot down at you? <laughs> it was doomed to fail from the start. That guy already knew things were, like, not really in his favor, you know? All right, um, we're just gonna try to skip all the stalkers and run there. Him. I see him. We're just gonna go around, you know? <laughs> because that was a level 15 mission. Don't. Don't. I guess this is what happens. I'm pretty sure I'm like a level, what am I, level like 46. <laughs> you wanna stay far away? I'm not trying to fight stalkers if we don't need to. Or chickens if we don't need to. What you need, leave the rest. Wait, have I gotten this one yet? Okay. These are all Would you like to buy sure, something today? Come take a look. I'll check out these wares. Buy what I've you got need. All the best leave here. the rest. Won't cost. Just search. Good. Check out these wares. Won't find them. You'll regret not stopping when you're in the thick of it. These aren't good. You were heard none. <laughs> Where would you go? Off. Oh, it's you. But how about a new deal? You could just 
cut off my finger, or, or my hand, or, or my, my left arm, but that's my final offer. Mm. Ooh, that won't be enough. Cutting off his whole arm? Hey, <laughs> Raids Cookies, hi, Paradox. Or spread the word about me. This sort of sounds like we would kill him, but I also don't like this one because it's sort of like... I feel like that's not an Aloy's character. Okay, thank you so much for the bite of cookie. Don't <laughs> take his head off with his head. Mmm. I've never considered how a skull would look on the end of our spear. That's a good call. I mean, he can't help it. I hope we're gonna play Kingdom Hearts 1. Wait, what? Oh, there- wait, is there a skull? I haven't played any of the Kingdom Hearts games, but I feel like I would enjoy them. I feel like I'm gonna let this guy live, but... Tempting, but I want you to spread the word to all your crooked friends. Me and my spear? Are off limits from now on. Mm -hmm. I can do that. What what should I tell them? Tell them how you barely escaped with your life. Get creative. You're good at that. I don't want to have to come find you again. Understood. You won't hear from any of us ever again. Perfect. I'd better not. Excellent. Good talk. Good talk. Find goods for a fair price. Next. You guys, we are cruising. I feel like let's get our last Ravenger and then we can go do the. Um, let's see. Does it tell me where one is? Okay. Go here. Ravenger. Easy peasy. You should give a first-hand demo. Be like, oh, the spear you wanted so badly? Like, put it through the entire, like, core of his body. Okay. This was not a good idea. Run. Run, run, run. One Ravager. Kingdom Hearts 1 has the Queen of Hearts from Hell's in Wonderland who constantly yells, Oh, what the heads! Wait, what's happening? That's got their attention. What is happening? Listen, whoever is here right now, I'm here to help. Oh! Okay. Chat, I need you guys to panic a little bit less. This is, this is quite dangerous, what we're doing here. I was not gonna have it be like this. 
great that was great we did all of the things that we you know we've done uh that we've learned leading up to this we got the ravenger cannon we used it to kill the shell walkers glen hawks hate fire that had, that went surprisingly well uh i don't know if anybody else you know sort of feels that way but i i feel that way i feel that way over here should I do these What's this what do we do next okay let's deliver let's go back Distractions doesn't necessarily mean that you have like 14 things going on at once. They can be quick, quick little wins, you know? <laughs> Wrong neighbor, it seems. Oh, oh. That was a close one. Okay. Let's sell some. Ooh. Trouble. I need this. Okay, 
sell some things, right? handling coils, but all right, I can get rid of some of this hair. Oh my gosh. Okay. Now, we need to buy all of our potions back because we sort of just ripped through what we had and get back up to 350 wire or no? <laughs> Too much panic potion chugging though. Okay. And another thing we need to be better about is after the first potion, like just wait to see where the, the potion gets us. Like I'll spam it like 14 times. Um, so it's probably giving me like, there's some potions that are not being used to their full potential. That's that's what I'm getting at with this. I face the sun's pride because I know I earned my place. Hello? Trying to catch the Sun King's eye with that outfit, are you? <laughs> what girl could resist, hmm? Oh. Okay. Uh, this outfit has an effect on everybody. We now know. Um... Definitely not trying to catch the Sun King's attention. I'm all set. All right, bring our trophies. I thought I told you. I'm here to present trophies to the Sunhawk of the Lodge. Three Sawtooths, two Ravagers, and a Stalker for good measure. Mm -hmm. I suppose Talana helped you with this. Mm -hmm. I brought these down myself. Will you accept them? Fine, yes. I accept them. But tell Talana... She should stop playing with sludge if she wants to get Redmaw. Enough of work and enough of my family. Okay. Should I try to talk to him again or no? Oh. Talk to Talana. All right. More One trophies. Days, I'm no. Going to take a holiday. Then you're not welcome in my here. presence. This guy cares about our trophies. Right. We'll see what he needs now. When I gave him my trophies, Assi said you should be spending more time finding Red Maw than helping me. That bunghead isn't wrong. But there isn't time to find Red Maw right now. You're gonna help with something else. Oh? And what might that be? Meet me outside. We have our first initiation mission you want to help here's someone who needs it go ahead Elsadi. i live in lone light northeast of here i barely escaped because glint hawks attack anyone who ventures out we have so few shards will you help we have nowhere else to turn sometimes members receive an honorarium for the hunt Assi should have accepted this one, but he refused. The price was too low. How generous. In the past, I would have gone with Takas to handle this. And what say you and I take it on? I'll meet you at Lone Light. What about Red Maw? Are you in or not? All right. I'll meet you there as soon as I can. All right. This is great. We just had some practice with Glint Hawks. Maybe I'll 
I'll go. Ooh, and we're right next to a metal flower out here. Is there a metal flower that I missed, like, out here somewhere? Or maybe that was the one. Okay. First things first. <laughs> no, to Ray. Potions do not equal cookies. True. You know who? I'm pretty sure her midriff. <laughs> Affected us all. This guy is just salty. Aloy is just way so true. After we rejected him the first time, I'm sure there's a backstory there. Aloy rejected him when they were both kids or something like that, and he's never let it go. To the icons for metal flowers. Oh, that's right. In the map view, right? Uh, tab. Undiscovered. Is under collectibles? Yeah. I mean, first thing that helps get rid of it are the machines. Alright, I'll do that right after this. About time you showed up! More Glen Hawks incoming! Now hold on. All right, sorry, sorry. I thought I could just loot real quick. I missed. I missed. <laughs> Everyone look around, make sure that's the last of them. I'm just gonna assess, check pulses, make sure they're dead dead. That seems to have taken care of them. But more always come. The soldiers at Morning's Watch don't even bother to fight them anymore. Seems like they're coming from upriver. I could track them back to the source, but if more come here... I'll watch the village. You go ahead. I thought you wanted to do this together. You don't need me to hold your hand. True. All right. Find the cause of the Glint Hawk's attack. What did this fool expect? Me? Have you used the spam jump for slowdowns? Uh, no. And actually, it kind of throws me off. Like, I'm not used to the, um... What am I seeing here? The old ones. Oh. 
gold and metal beast we see today. Okay, thanks for that reminder, this exile. So, we always want to show our to the challenge, just to kind of like shoot them whenever they're from there. Oh my. Okay, that's a lot of reading, but I think the gist of it was just like. a thing that the old ones were not strong enough to take on the machines such as the metal devil and stuff um, and it's because they didn't believe in all mother it looks so silly when people just spam jumps to get that slow-mo um, it's way too easy to use it as a crutch yeah, well, it kind of throws off, it to me, it throws off, like, the pace of the battle, you know? And especially, like, if you're not, like, when I use the slow-mo, it's very intentional versus, like, when I'm just jumping up and down because <laughs> I'm trying to, like, avoid getting hit and stuff. But, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, hold on, believe, blah, blah, blah. Something about... What was that? Oh my gosh. Okay, sorry. I thought I took a potion and was like... My bad. Uh... Do I think I'll die? So much for being careful. We're still being careful. I should have took the high ground here. What if there's like thousands of glint hawks? <gasps> Metal flower! Patterns on this flower are so All right. I didn't even mean to pick this one up. Okay. <clears throat> the dust of many crumbled cities settles over us like a forgetful doze. But we are older than those cities. We began as a mineral. We emerged into plant life and into the animal state and then into being human. And always we have forgotten our former states except in early spring when we slightly recall being green again. Those are all collected myths about the old ones from each culture. It also, um, I, I know I just kind of like peruse through it, but I would be interested to see, you kind of get the relationships between the tribes, but I feel like in these books, they, they all sort of throw like digs at each other. Like, oh, those weird, like in that last book, this guy was like, I don't know. I tried to hang with the Bunuk, but like, those people are weird. I don't get it. They're strange. Definitely some over here. Let's see. 
be their favorite spot is being... Okay, real quick. Is it just the glint hawk up there? More glint hawks. Carcasses everywhere. No wonder the Glint Hawks were drawn here. What the heck? Well, now I've looted them all, so. <laughs> little bows. There used to be people up here. Focus could turn something up. did this must have left tracks from the blinds. Okay, let's highlight the tracks. Amateurs will leave easy tracks to follow. Follow the tracks. <sighs> Those blinds up there concentrate fire on a target. <sighs> Makes it impossible to fight back. It's a cheat, and a wasteful one, too. Well, let's see who's... Murdering a bunch of snap moths, huh? Not that we're gonna need violence with our new friends, but, you know, let's just have some things on hand. These must be the snap maw hunters. All right, it says talk to the hunters, so. I'm here on behalf of the nearby village. Seems your kill zone is creating a glint hawk problem for them. Yeah, well, they're not the only people with problems. If we don't get enough snap maw hearts to pay off a loan, we lose everything. I don't follow. I borrowed shards to buy seeds. The harvest went bust, and now they're coming for the debt. We could lose the farm, our home. I'm sorry about that, but Glinthawks are attacking people because of what you're doing here. Not my problem. None of us are leaving until I get what I came for. None of us? Yeah, none of us? You didn't think it was just us two, did you? You already have one? Now that's impressive. 
All right, then. There. The heart you need. Now what about your promise? A deal's a deal. And now I can pay off my debt. We won't be back. Good. Keep it that way. Aloy. No fight? Well, those guys are very lucky because... Fine. Everything is fine. Congratulations are in order. I wanted to make sure you could handle yourself. You were watching the whole time? Of course. Tarkas, may the sunlight is passing, taught me many things. First of which was, a hawk never abandons their thrush. Wait. Are you saying... I'd like to sponsor you for membership. What do you say to hunting machines, winning trophies, and unseating a cease? Yes! <laughs> I'm in. I'll meet you back at the lodge as soon as I'm able. Spons Hashtag sponsored. Let's go. Sorry. I'm just very excited. Oh, I don't even know what to do with myself. Uh, if you didn't already have the Snap Maw Heart, you can actually choose to fight them. Oh, really? Wait, so does she not sponsor you then, if you do fight them? Oh, you guys, like, still live here? Hello? Anyways, all right. Uh, that's a thing then, I guess. So now we got this side quest. Hunter's blind. Oh, that's still part of this. All right, let's go back. I'm not like super near something I need, right? And just a couple of uh, campfires. Meridian Sunrise. By the sun, you have vision of. Excuse me. I still don't really know my way around she didn't this even city. Hesitate. She stood between the. Yeah. Let's go. Talana, always a pleasure. I see you've brought your pet. Greetings, Sunhawk. I hereby sponsor Aloy of the Nora. For membership in the Hunter's Lodge. No. Look at her. She's lowborn, a savage. This is beneath even you, Talana. She has fulfilled the requirements. And Sun King Avad decreed the Lodge should be open to all. She did save his life. But I'm sure he'll listen to your prejudice over his own common sense. Would you like to take it up with him? The word of the Sun King is indeed law. Even though it would bring ruin to the Lodge, so be it. Do you, Aloy of the Nora, pledge to act rightly and nobly when in service to the Lodge all the days to follow? I do. I do. Members of the Lodge, even though Tarkas is barely cold, 
I present to you Aloy of the Nora. Member and Thrush, what say you all? To the hunt! Sponsoring an outlander. <laughs> While you make meaningless gestures, I'll be finding Red Maw. Nah, I'm gonna find Red Maw. Look at his midriff. What we we're a trendsetter in all this, you know. Work. Not my family. The deadliest game. Talk to Talana. This. This is a good day. This is a great day. Asus. I know why I hate Asus. Asus. Why do you? My family has always boasted members in the lodge. My father and brother were both hawks. Asus let their sacrifice be forgotten. Um. Sacrifice? What sacrifice? They died in the massacre. They should be honored as hawks. Instead, Assis will not let anyone mention it. Massacre? What happened in the massacre? King Duran's paranoia knew no bounds. He sent thousands of innocents to die in the Sunring. When the hawks of the lodge called for him to stop the slaughter, he threw them in the ring too. Yet when the machines attacked the condemned, more hawks leapt into the ring to defend them. And my father and brother were among them. I'm... I'm so sorry. Sunring? What happened to the men in the Sunring? They died fighting. If you wish to hear the story, Legan can tell it better. He saw it with his own eyes. I did not. The morning of the massacre, my father told me to meet him outside the city. He told me they were planning an escape. I waited for hours until a message came from my father. I had to leave the city. So I fled when I should have fought by his side. He didn't want you to die with them. Nor would he want their names forgotten. Especially by the man who benefited most from their deaths, Assis. How did your family come to be members of the Lodge? Karja noble houses have sent Is sons like to the lodge for generations because they needed them. another place to lord over the commoners. I want to change that. The idea that someone is worthy or not by virtue of birth alone. Everyone thinks they have me pegged as soon as they hear Talana Khan Padish. I hate that. I understand. My whole life I lived as an outcast from the Nora. They would have been the first to say I wasn't one of them. Yet, as soon as I leave the Sacred Lands, everyone calls me Aloy of the Nora. It should be Aloy despite the Nora. I didn't know. I'll remember that. Um, it is true. We we did all of our best hunting. Or no. I think I got this afterwards. Regardless. Us getting sponsored in the Lodge abs out. That's all I'm saying. He knows he's been overcarving. He just like getting ready for this uh, red maw fight that nobody can seem to find. By the way, what's red maw? Few have seen it. A thunderjaw marked by years of battle. Some say it still bears the marks of over a dozen hunters on its flank. How many it has trampled along the way, we may never know. When members go hunting and never return. We often blame Red Maw. But to me, it's more than legend. It's the only machine that will unseat Assis. My sponsor nearly had it, but... He didn't make it. I'm sorry. Tarkas sponsored me out of loyalty to my family. He was my last link to them, besides the Lodge itself. I have to unseat Assis. So what now? Now that you're a thrush, you should improve your reputation. Why do you hunt down a Thunderjaw and a Stormbird? You want me to go trophy hunting? You're not just any thrush. You're mine. And you better make me look good. But what about Redmaw? I will find him. And when I do, I expect you to be there. Oh, I'll definitely be there. Having any trouble? Nope. Bring back Good. trophies from a Thunderjaw and a Stormbird. No one will doubt you belong here then. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna go ask about the Sunring from Ligand. 
incredible. Stopped Durham without breaking a sweat. Two new thrushes in one day. Makes a hawk proud. Uh, thrush? Who else just became a thrush? Ardy. I see him rising to the top game. very quickly. He reminds me of myself at his age. What will you say when I bring in a Thunderjaw trophy? <laughs> That's a wonderful goal. Perhaps you can have Ardy give you some tips. The massacre? Can you tell me what happened during the massacre? <sighs> a terrible time. King Jaran purged loyal subjects and traitors alike throughout the Sundom. He even called out members of our lodge. Why? Some spoke out against the killing. And when the soldiers came for them, we all objected. And for that crime, those who were not arrested were forced to watch our comrades murdered in the sun ring. I shouldn't say more. Tell me about the sun ring. Well, what is the actor's name that plays Magneto in uh, the X-Men series? That's exactly who this dude looks like. Oh, Ian McKellen? Okay. I was like, I feel like I should know this. Like, it's somebody... She looks a lot like you, Aloy. Uh, I think we need a Rayloy cosplay. I have no idea where... Uh, I cannot make her current armor in any sort of way, but I would definitely... I feel like I said that last time, but I, like, couldn't quite... It was on the tip of my brain. I didn't quite Please, have it. tell me what happened that day in the Sun Ring. Normally, victims of the Sun Ring fell within minutes as the crowd cheered, cheered their deaths. But not with our hawks. They stood alone against wave after wave of machines. Hours passed, the men taking turns fighting as the others rested. The crowd's mood turned, rallying around our men. Some of them left, their blood lost unsated. We members stayed and watched till nightfall. Till nightfall? What happened in the sun ring at nightfall? The sun had set, and only firelight and the glow from the machines lit the ring. It was then the court released a behemoth. Several hawks at once jumped into the ring to fight alongside the condemned. They had snuck in their weapons. I wish... I had as well. The machine didn't discriminate. It crashed into the stand, devastating spectator and fighter alike. It was a slaughter. How did it end? And how did the battle in the Sun Ring come to an end? Talana's father climbed atop a behemoth and with one well-placed spear destroyed it, just as a second knocked him to his death. Her brother and the others fought this second behemoth, falling one by one as they put themselves between the beast and the stands. And so we and the spectators were saved. Those who had once cheered for their deaths thanked the dying men for their very lives. What a brave end. And how terrible that no one speaks of it. Do you know where Redma is? I do not. Rumor of it spreads quickly within the lodge. As soon as it is spotted, it disappears again. Goodbye. I must say, I'm surprised by your achievements. Bringing in a stalker already. Save your surprise. I'm just getting started. Got him. I wish there was a dancing emo. It's a hard work, it's strong. I've seen some good 3D printed and plaster. Ooh, yeah, the 3D prints would be... And then you could use, like, little bits of cloth to make, like, her armbands or whatever. So I was wondering, well, now the sun ring, I guess, has like a lot of the eclipse in it. Um, 
but it was sort of like a coliseum type deal at some point, I guess. Oh. Do we go see? What should we do? We'll finish this one. We'll go see what Nil wants, and then we can work on our trophies. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to, uh, I believe I'm missing, yeah, I'm missing two of these, two vantages and a Banook. I know where the two vantages are, but there's one, uh, there's one metal flower that I'm missing. Oh, wait, you can't look around the map? Oh, yes, you can. Okay. So there's one there. I'm wondering if the other metal flower is in here somewhere, but because I haven't gotten the uh, tall neck, that it's not, like, seen? Far left? Or you think it's in here? Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay. I was going too fast. <laughs> other, <laughs> other left. Okay. Hold on. In, I, I got confused. The map was moving really quickly. Everything was a blur. It was really, it was something. If you guys were there, you would have been like, whoa, I'm only seeing one... There's also a corrupted zone here. Okay, first, first things first. We go talk to the innkeeper. Okay, okay. And then, yes. If this Gavon came through here, the inn seems like a good place to start asking. Great. Let's save. The Nora readers. Many times I have asked to describe the most fearsome of barbarian tribes, the Nora of the Savage East. So ferocious are the rumors of these people. You might think it was they who raided us during the dark times of the Mad Sun King, but, or sorry, and not the opposite. Uh, okay, quiet reading, but quick reading. That is kind of interesting that, uh... Morning comes swift. As the sun is my witness, never had a Nora in my house. What about a man named Gavon? Mm, no. Can't say I've heard that name. But uh, we're a trading town. Get a lot of people through. All kinds, I'm sure. Like ones who don't want to be followed. I never heard of your Gavon. 
If he's trouble, well, can't say I'm sorry. Uh, now, I've things to be doing, Nora girl, if you don't mind. Oh, he wasn't suspicious at all. <sighs> Time to take a look around. Yeah, this guy definitely knows something. Lucky that the Nora was there to protect the sun king. She didn't even hesitate. She stood between the assassin and How about these stairs leading up to an open door? Who's this? Wash the floor, hang the laundry. They working all day. Okay, fine. The Sun King's grown too soft. Too much Osaram influence to have. All right, what am I missing here? I'm not going home. No. I don't want to face my father. One of these days, I'm going to take a holiday. Maybe I, if I talk. Sorry, I have no news that would interest you. How about you? What's that? Can't stop thinking about my sister in Sunfall. So I'm willing she's safe. By this sun, I'm hoping for a better day tomorrow. Never let anyone say the car just slack off. As the sun witnesses, we put our backs in. I face the sun with pride because I know I May earned the sun my light place. your way. The sun king's grown too soft. I'm just supposed to be investigating. How about this guy here? Oh, it's you. I didn't recognize you in our colors. In a good way, of course. I wonder if my focus can pick anything up. Yeah, I've been trying. But no dice. My clue is just sort of like, search the inn. Search the inn. Okay. My bones are tired. I've been working too damned hard. I feel like it's gonna be upstairs, right? It's good to be sitting down. Daybreak. Yesterday's gone. Huh? Has that dude been there? This whole time? I could check my focus. See what it sees. Hello? Uh, I need a moment. My duties today are endless. Against my better judgment. Let's go outside. I'm not sure 
going to the campfire. There's the river. have gotten this off without help but you didn't make for the harbor and you didn't go alone had a little help from a friend here they have robot dinosaurs and no toilets it's kind of weird that Aloy hasn't needed to eat this whole entire time Keep that for later. Thus, no real, like, no reason for toilets in general if nobody eats. Sort of gonna move on past. gosh what if this ends up being the same guy as uh the one that was stealing the fruit so did gavon find his friends or his enemies suppose they're all the same to me let me guess we're gonna look down there's gonna be a bunch of glint hawks uh the river wasn't a clue like i said it's happy to see him back you pass out <laughs> but it helped oh i gotcha i gotcha if you can break out of Sunstone Rock, you can take a bit of knife play, can't you? you Leave him alone! That shot nearly had me. You're a snitch. Wait! Come to... Who's the bad person hey. here? Friend of yours, Gavon! Stop! I'm pick you apart shot by shot! Surround him! Probably didn't go as well. Oops. As you hoped it would. Not sure why that guy didn't really fire at me, but. Try me now. Sir, you will be coming with me. They sent you to take me back to Sunstone? Not to take you back. Huh. Well. Hashiv's done your job for you. Geneva said you were a smuggler only for the shards. Is that true? <laughs> I could tell you anything. A sick mother, or I did it for the poor children. But you'd be lying. In the year I spent in the cage, all I regretted was killing that guard. Because it got me caught. You can take that back to Sunstone Rock. I mean... Should we check him for a pulse? This might even the odds. Or is this... Just to be sure, or no? Okay, confirmed, he's dead. Run! Run, 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 run. Okay, confirmed. It did not jolt him back to life. <laughs> did not jolt him back to life. But I'm glad we tried, right? <laughs> I mean, we are. We're. This is what we do. This is what we do. And we need to be confident when we go back that the job is done. 
as requested. We can't have this like, oh, we didn't really check or, oh, we didn't put a fire spitter. This is science. <laughs> For science. I guess it's close I can get. Confirmed very dead. Or how many how many shots did we fire there? What if we did just enough to make sure he was dead, bring him back to life, make sure he was dead, and then bring him back to life. And he super debated us. I'll tuck that away. That's a possibility, I think. Alright, just kidding. This is like the third time that I've done that. I forget I get the secret entrance. Uh, Your aid to the Karja Sundom in these times of strife is appreciated. No problem. That's the official response. I'd say. I can tell you've done the work by the look on your face. Two of them got themselves killed. The other... Welcome to fight to the end. They would have found death with or without you, taken others with them. That's what I told myself. Smart girl. Doubt we'll meet again, so go in light. Wait, why can't I meet you again? Couldn't imagine living anywhere else. Uh, no, I'm awake and alert. <laughs> Damn it. That's kind of sad. Just became friends and now it's just like, all right, well, see you never. Okay, I think we need to start, we need to start selling the uh, shock traps because tear blaster. What's a tear blast? Oh, oh, I know what it is. It's the same as the uh, tear blaster ammo I have, right? Just sell the traps. Yeah, exactly. Have a good rest of your life. <laughs> she, hey, at least she was like up front with us. Like, well, Some never gonna see you over applied again. To the city guard the other day. <laughs> we had Amazing. one mission of bliss and now it's all over. How could you do this to me? Alright, I said we would go talk to Nil while we were out here. Yeah, uh, I'm just gonna sell them. The only times I ever use them is when I'm accidentally spamming to use my potion. I did wonder on my way here, well, if you were luring me into an ambush. Where's the fun in that? Some bandit sprawl would never have done for our arena. But this, much better. There's a sense of drama. So, what do you say? How about we try to kill each other? Question it or should I? <laughs> no, no kink, no kink shaming here. I mean, if this, I, I kind of want to ask what, but another part of me is like, let's just roll up our sleeves and uh, see what this guy's all about, right? Do I ask what?
feel like it's sort of like a once in a lifetime type opportunity, you know? Like. Nothing to lose. All right. If this is how it has to end, Nil. Everything does. Only you are so conscientious. I wouldn't want to push you into something that wasn't genuine. Especially death. There is nothing more genuine. That's very thoughtful of you. Let's finish this. <laughs> All right, what do we think he's uh, susceptible to? Let's try fire, maybe? And then we'll throw some of these. Yourself back, Nora. Why? I'm uh... He wasn't even good this whole time. Oh, don't look so concerned. I should say, I always knew it would end this way. Since we first met. But if I'm honest, I thought I could take you. What? Try to go into melee while <laughs> you just shot him. All talk, no action. That seems I'd have right. to ditch something. Wait, what does he have that I can't take? An irregular ancient charm. All right, what do you think we can drop, people, so we can make room for a charm? How about we drop the ridge blade? That was very anticlimactic. Oops. Rip. Uh, but she rolled and he hit a rock with it. He was gonna blind her and rush her. Oh, wait, with his first, yeah. What was he gonna throw at me there? Was it like a flashbang type deal? Oh, craft up all my stuff. Well, too late. Um. Oh, what's this? Parablaster ammo pouch? I don't really use that. Okay, we just gotta sell some stuff. uses three weapons so it's the bomb whatever his uh melee weapon type deal is should we go say goodbye to his dead body or just leave i feel like we should just leave and sell his stuff and be gone with him next and then let's fast travel where do we want to go see here probably right terror blaster is a separate weapon it's like terrible it's like if terror blast arrows were a shotgun oh my gosh okay that's i can barely use the terror blast arrows 
as is, let alone. Yeah, flash bomb, bow, sword. Um, well, I bet his, uh, his, um, his sword is probably pretty good, right? His, um, the bow did like a quarter of my health worth of damage, so I, that, like, is pretty good. Just not good enough. Let's, let's say goodbye to some stuff. Let's keep the sparkers. Maybe my chill water has gone a little out of hand. Sell a couple stacks of those. Oh, that chill water, though. You never know when you need chill water. Yeah, sword must be good because he wields it the whole time. <laughs> you were raiding arrow. He was very adamant on, like, he, he was going to be frozen in time forever with that sword, but by golly, it was going to be worth it. All right, let's sell this stuff. Modifications. How are we looking? That's about you. Okay, let's sell all of our... Do you guys remember what traps I have? Are they shock or are they... I feel like they're all shock traps. Okay. All the best goods here. Now, let's go here. Okay, we also need to... S you can't sell rocks, never mind. I have one detonating. Okay, well, it's close enough. Excuse me. Feel like what I have for <laughs> Crazy Osaram tried to kill our Sun King. Kill the machine riders. I'm good. How are you, Enders? Go grab a Thunderjaw and a Stormbird. I feel like I'd rather fight the Stormbirds that are like out here though. All more like open land. Hmm. Got a Metal Flower. We got a Vantage. There's, there's a lot of things in this area over here, but I wonder if these are all like intros to Saturday stream type deal. Should get this vantage. Okay, we're gonna take a quick little detour. We're gonna grab this vantage, and then we're gonna go get our trophies. <laughs> Doing well enough. There's what sounds like a cheerleading camp or a sorority party outside of my window, both of which could be quite exciting. That sounds like a good time opportunity to maybe make some new friends join in <clears throat> okay how do we think we should be getting up here probably like following the path trail thing. Let's try that. Ooh, ooh, okay. Chill out. Easy, easy. Agreed.
there's a path that goes all the way. All right, we gotta see what this is. How did I go this long without trying to figure out what is happening up here? This is, I don't think, no, this isn't the DLC part. Well, as far as I know, this isn't the DLC part. That's over here, but. Looks like it could almost like connect over here or something. I don't know. Okay, so now. Still base game content. Oof. Alright. I don't know. I have I currently had I have like a chill that went up my spine. I feel like there's gonna be something not good. Yeah, no. I'm getting a very bad feeling from all this. save this. Oh gosh. Okay. I can't stand up. Maybe I can jump out here. Please. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's, uh, let's stay on this side and see if we can just find a way how to climb up this thing. Definitely missing like handholds or something. Oh, that's not even the right way. There's something here. Now is the time for a Skyrim horse. I totally agree. Wait, are those climbable ledges right there? They're going down fast. Yes, okay, my bad. Missed them the first time. Okay, this seems like a much more reasonable way to get to this area. is going a little less than well at the moment. Oh god. Oh god. How do you not... Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Let's just try it again. I feel like um, 
like I do too much trying to like grab the next Like the next thing, you know, I feel like like this right here. I feel the game should. Yeah, OK. I recognize. Grab that. Okay. I know. Stalkers, watchers. What are they doing all the way up here? Man. Okay. Why? What is this? I got these crafted. They can climb rocks? My bad. I was definitely not about to, to quit out of this game over the fact that stalkers can climb rocks. Well, I don't know if this makes it any better or worse. No, they're, they're like tarantulas. Oh. They just get worse and worse, you know? Uh. Get the little things. We just need to tear all the things off, you know? Gets past them. There are so many. Why did we do this? I'm, I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm panicking. Ah! Okay. Ooh, ooh. Stop. Stop. Don't. Vantage even going to be worth it? Like, what's it going to show me that...
Okay, this is fine. This method is working just fine. Nobody said we had to be a hero, you know? best ammo here. We really can. Nothing is off limits at the moment. Ow. Ow. Okay. Oh, jeez, please. Ah! No! No, 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 no. No. F. doesn't have anything else left to lose. Maybe this one? Oh, heck yeah. I don't know if this is gonna reach. Okay. Alright. Now they're hunting me. I'm pretty sure at one point we saw like five of them or something like that. So I don't think this is going to be the last one. Is this health? Is. God, I found this. We got friends, a family. What do you got, sir or ma'am? What if I just hit it with one of these from far away? Just to let them know I'm still hanging around, you know? Wait, it's invisible. I didn't knock off the things yet. Your kind, Mr. Stalker.
don't believe for a moment that, you know, I fought a couple of you and that was it. is we would rather know where they are than not know where they are. You know what I mean? If there's more out here, which I'm sure there are, and there's just like a jump scare incoming, you know? How is the 3080 holding up? I mean, the the 3080 makes this look, when I played this on like the highest quality settings, it is absolutely beautiful, but it's my internet that doesn't let you guys see the beautifulness. I think this area in the mountains includes a major part of the story, if I remember. Oh, does it? It feels like it should. But then what's weird is like, the only thing that you see up here is a vantage. So it's like. Is there any way to disarm the stalker things or do they just go off and that's all you can do about it? Yeah, yeah, even if you, which is like a lure to get the stalkers to come looking in the wrong spot. Oh, that's true. Yeah, if you shoot them for far just to make them go off. I like to try to get them while they're just sort of, I did not know that stalkers can like tarantula onto things. That just makes everything about this so much worse. I'm having some trouble figuring out. always the override option to turn them into your buddy. Also true. Oh no. Oh, visibility decrease. What do we think? Is that part of a, uh, a Deathbringer or something? This is bad news bears. I'm soaked from melted snow. Yep, well. We're gonna keep climbing in it, so... Machines are territorial here, but what am I intruding on? Can you see more? The lint talks. I really just want to try to get over it there. I don't really like fighting the lint talks on the side of a. Oh, we 
got all sorts of things over there. Oof. Try to take them down one at a time. What's that room around? Ravager. Well, luckily everything that we see here. taking this fight right here, but I feel like I should take down. What should I take down first? Maybe if I could take down one of the Ravengers? Red light means trouble.
Okay. <laughs> These aren't cheap. What we should have done was knocked off one of the Ravengers' cannons and then fought with that. That would have been... The birds are the worst. I, the Glenhawks are so, and it's just because there's so many of them, you know? They are just like. You just want them to find something better to do. How does that not hit this guy? Okay. <sighs> Better. No more time to recover. grab the medicine that was not any so it's my bad but what is this place i'll find a use for you side of like a tank or something or like a military bus I feel like I should wait out the storm There's gonna be, I don't even know. What do you think is gonna be up here? I feel like there's gonna be like a thunder jaw maybe, maybe two, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not gonna say, yeah. That's how you know. We're gonna take a sip of water. Okay. Game, you're not gonna make me climb up this dangerous rock ledge in a storm, are you? Need them soon enough. Right? 
Freeze. Freeze. And fire, sort of. Are you not alone up this here? This thing's got a bite out here. I feel like I should go to the Vantage. Ugh. <sighs> 
Am I missing how to get up? I feel like I'm missing like a handhold. I may need to get on that thing. Yeah, this is... I mean, for all the other ruins, you guys said that you actually have to jump, you have to jump in. Gosh, there's something right there. do the <laughs> this. Okay. Alright, you guys wouldn't lie to me, right? If I needed to jump into here, you would tell me? something waiting for us there. Oh my gosh. I gotta know. I gotta know what it is. Oh, maybe I will. of our vantage. This will give us some sort of clue. Is that where Forbidden West, is that where that game starts? Okay. So I'm missing.
in my collectibles. Okay, we've got a couple more. No, you're still Midwest. The expansion, let's see, see San Francisco. Wait, what? In the DLC area, you mean? Oh, man. Okay, I only... I didn't realize that there was text to these vantage points, so I'm gonna read the next couple real quick while we're up here to maybe see if I can piece together what this place is. Okay. Day six. I was fresh out of rehab when we saw the metallurgists play the Hearts Wayfarers. The M in Jersey looked pretty funny over your, uh, sorry. Hi, Ma. So this would have been late May or early June. I was only a week or two out of rehab, still feeling pretty raw, pretty jangly about sober life. You'd already gone toe to toe with Mr. Gerson, that jerk principal who tried to block my readmission. I was looking at eight weeks of summer school to make up for all the courses I'd flunked, but I didn't mind. Without drugs, I didn't really know what to do with myself yet, so I welcomed the structure. The metallurgists were playing the Wayfarers, and as usual, Wyatt had box tickets. This was the first time I'd agreed to go. Heck, it was probably the first time I'd ever agreed to do anything as a family. In retrospect, I'm surprised Wyatt was willing to bring his Heckian stepson to public events so soon. I'd seen teams slug it out on Hollow before, of course, but it's seeing it in the real was a whole other thing. The size of the machines, their speed, the way they bash each other the pieces. It was intense. All at once, my fascination with fascination. <laughs> okay, sorry. I, I feel like I haven't really seen the word fascinate, the fascination. All right, whatever with tech, which had kind of faded as I'd sunk into the drugs, came roaring back. When Homie Ramen, the other team's chief engineer, stopped by the box at halftime, I was all over him, blasting with questions like a one-boy press conference. Looking back, it wouldn't surprise me if you took me to that game, hoping to get me excited about tech before I headed into summer school. Or was it you wanted me to catch a glimpse of corporate privilege? It was always your dream that I'd end up in engineering or business. Well, there was plenty of engineering on display when Connor 12 scored with an 18 meter rocket jump with plenty of VPs and even C levels in the box with us when we cheered the goal. Yeah, it was a setup. You knew what you were doing. Always did. So that was six. Seven. Uh, no, Forbidden West is the... Oh, it's the new game, right? The Tall Necks and Cauldrons also gave you text logs. They're short, worth a read if you haven't. Um, yes, I didn't... All of this lore has just been under my fingertips this whole time. Oh my gosh, so bad. Okay, day seven. I was three months out of rehab when we went camping out here. Why I went to sleep early, so it was just the two of us when we stayed up and watched the... Pear seeds? Pear seeds. After, as we talked about the stars in space tech, I suddenly knew what I wanted to do with my life. Hi, Ma. It was August. Summer school had wrapped, and I'd aced my courses, so I was heading back to 10th grade with a good head of steam. As a reward for my studies and my sobriety, you and Wyatt gave me a Fullerton Labs Astro Prodigy and took me camping to watch the pear seeds at their peak. I was amped. Wyatt spent all afternoon struggling with a self-constructing shelter he'd bought for the trip until finally he gave up and built the dang thing manually. Well, the sleeping pods anyway. While we made a fire and cooked dinner. It must have taken a lot out of him because Wyatt was nodding off at dinner and went to bed soon after. As night fell, we sat and watched the meteors streak across the sky like fingernail scratches, marveling at their abundance, laughing our delight. After an hour or so, you asked me to teach you the constellations. So I launched the Astro Prodigy and played Professor, spouting off about each star group as the drone magnified them. Later, I had to zoom in on the Odyssey, which was still being constructed in orbit back then. It was another year or two before they abandoned it. 
We could actually see the robots building it, zipping across the hull like little fireflies. So I jabbered on about that, which got me started on yammering about the robots that our own other corporations, even Metallurgic, had begun sending up to mine Helium-3 from Luna and metals from the asteroid belt. The more I spoke about space tech, the more excited I became. But I was getting cold, too. Deserts at night, I like that. So I sat back next to you and we huddled under the camp blanket. For a little while, we were quiet. I wanted to say what I was thinking, but it felt ridiculous. But then Wyatt snored ex explosively from inside the shelter and we giggled. My laughter seemed to make an opening for me to just go ahead and say it. That I, your delinquent son, who had almost flunked out of high school, who nearly died of an OD at a bash court concert, wanted to be an aerospace engineer and make the sorts of machines we've been talking about. Robots to gather resources in the solar system, maybe even ones that could travel to other stars and colonize new worlds. You looked at me and smiled. Then that is what you'll do. And then you looked up at the night sky and said very plainly, as though it was a simple fact, you will write the story of our family across the stars. School started next week, and I never looked back. Okay, so that was seven. Eight. Day eight. Holy crap, that glitched out lifter that crashed your arm and clavicle back before you met Wyatt. That was in a mine back beyond these falls. Ugh, what a punk I was. Ma, I can't believe I just stumbled across this place. I remembered your injury, of course. I just forgot that it happened all the way out here. That was before Wyatt, obviously, when things were really hard for us. I was 12 or 13, already smoking duster every day. And you were working all the time, stuck in the job you convinced Metallurgic to give you after they stiffed us on the death settlement. It must have been terrible, servicing mining robots and dig tunnels for 1.5 basic, but that's how you kept us fed. When the lifter injured you, the foreman said it was your fault, said the telemetry showed human error, yours. When you told me that the tel telemetry had been cooked, I didn't believe you. I blamed you for your injury, same as the company. What a great kid I was. I didn't understand the situation at all. Denial of comp was a financial death blow. We were days from living on the street, which is why you push your grievance up the ladder, up and up, until eventually you end up in Wyatt's office. He ordered an investigation, which was the right thing to do, though I've always wondered just how dispassionate his decision was. The investigation proved the telemetry had been tampered with and validated your claim, and the implants and cybernetics fixed you up good as new. By all appearances, it looked like everything had got that had gotten broken had been fixed. Heck, another six months and you and Wyatt started seeing each other, so before long even our poverty was fixed. What we didn't know, of course, was that you'd been poisoned. Lubor 6 exposure from the solvents you used to keep robot joints clear. We were still years away from knowing the long-term effects, but the damage was done. You doomed yourself, working a crappy job to feed me and clothe, and I can't even remember a single time I thanked you for it. Oh my gosh. Okay, pass. Nine. Day nine. I was setting up my tent right here when Wyatt's call came through. I came as fast as I could, but you'd already slipped into a coma. We never got a chance to say goodbye. Hi, Ma. My plan was to go camping here after the Amos... 15 launch. I'd been working OT for the past nine months, so I was pretty frazzled and figured I should take the weekend to relax before crunch started up again. I was setting up my tent when Wyatt's call came through. He said it was an emergency. I called the Lifespin Burt and made it to Denver General in less than 27 minutes. I was too late. He had already slipped into a coma. I didn't understand how that could be, but when I told Wyatt to explain, he just kept choking up, waving me towards the care station. So it was a hollow doc that broke the news. I had been diagnosed a year earlier. The adverse reactions to gene therapy and polymer vascular replacements, the six months of mobile dialysis. I couldn't believe you kept it all a secret from me. Even at the height of crunch, I called you once or twice a week. So you just sat there listening to me enthuse about my latest project or complain about workplace politics and all the while you were dying. didn't make sense. 
I marched back to Wyatt, cornered him, and demanded that he explain. He said you had want to distract me, that I was doing important work and need to focus. You know, as though the latest Amos Lodge and the Palladium and Rhodium it bring back to Earth mattered more than the Ma who's already there or here. Why I kept saying how proud you were of me. He even parroted that onwards and upwards phrase of yours. He said I should get back to work and that's what you would have wanted. That he'd stay at the hospital and keep me informed. I didn't go back to work. I called in. I took arguing my way past two supervisors, a labyrinth automated HR menu, a human resources AI, and an anal defensive benefits ex executive to activate my personal leave, but I did it. And then I sat at your bedside for the next seven days. I kept thinking of the hospital after my OD at the amphitheater. Kept thinking that if you came out of the coma, I wanted my face to be the first thing you saw. Oh. On the eighth day, they pronounced you dead. After the funeral, I went back to work, but I wasn't really there. I kept telling myself to focus, that it was okay to be there. It was what you would have wanted after all, onwards and upwards. But my work fell behind. When my supervisor called me in for an emergency review, I told myself to play it cool, accept the criticism, and promise to do better. It didn't go like that. I snapped and shouted at him and then broke down, sobbing uncontrollably. Two minutes and three seconds later, I was standing outside the Faro building, blinking in the sunshine, straightening my bunched up clothes. An alert on my focus indicated that I should go home for the day, then report for a disciplinary review on Monday, but I didn't go home. Another idea had risen up in my mind, already fully formed. I guess I'd already been thinking of doing it for a while. I took a life spin to Pioneer Park, Ten minutes of asking around and a truth test to show I wasn't a cop was all it took to make a connection. I went home with the drugs, started using, and didn't stop. Duster, snake, skydive, overcast, no razor wing at least. I didn't take calls, I didn't show up for the disciplinary review on Monday morning. A friend stopped by and hammered the door until I answered it. When he saw what was happening, he staged a one-man intervention. I agreed to go into treatment, but I didn't harbor any illusions. Use of personal leave was bad, but the use of psych essay leave? Career suicide. Sure, they couldn't legally fire me for it, but I've been around FAS long enough to know they'd find a way. My career was over. I thought I was at rock bottom, but I was wrong, of course. I still had a long way to fall. <sighs> okay, day nine? Just wrecked me. Fast. Oh, Faro Automated Solutions. That's kind of interesting that they go back and forth between calling it Faro and Foss. Same thing happened to you, very old. I just like... You know that he... Ugh. All right, I think I have day 10, right? Day 10. Day 11 is the only one I'm missing. Day 10, so here's where I learned how the world would end. My second apocalypse in a year. Looks like there's been a lot of construction going on now. Why would that be? Hi, Mom. I was surprised when uh, FAS sent me out here, and not just because the meeting was to going to be held in real space. I was surprised to discover that anyone at FAS still knew I existed. When I returned to work after treatment, HR informed me I'd been reassigned to the Vantage Project. It was exactly the professional death sentence I was expecting, the career equivalent of getting sent into a red zone without an environment suit. Everyone knew Vantage was one of those doom projects FAS kept around solely for the purpose of assigning dead-enders to them, especially head cases like me, who hadn't been 
uh, summar summarily fired for fear of parody litigation. Month by month, management would pile losers on a lost cause and cancel the project and lay everyone off. A ship of fools sunk with a single torpedo. Ain't wrongful dismissal if it's downsizing. I had nothing better to do, so I spent my time enjoying the tech. Chip design wasn't my forte, but I knew enough to admire what the engineers had accomplished with the Eternity chip. Stored data was guaranteed to last 50,000 years or more without degradation. As for the Vantage itself, the project was little more than a failed marketing plan. The idea was to promote the tech by bearing unlocked Eternity chips at scenic locales around the world. Public domain time capsules where enthusiasts could cache date lock data. The project got as far as developing the spikes. Port portable drill applicators to sink the chips then stalled when grass heckle and capsulates came on the market and stole eternity thunder. Anyway, I'd been at Vantage three weeks when FAS unexpectedly sent me out here for a real space meeting. Me, a dead ender, working on a doomed project. Dispatched to high security FAS R&D site inside King's Peak. It didn't make sense. Security put me in a small conference room and told me to wait. It was downright claustrophobic, dim lights, bad ventilation, more like an interrogation room for one of those 90s cop vids. But what really got my attention was the noises coming through the walls, the nonstop bang and clatter of construction bots building something deep in the mountain, something big. The door opened and some deuce wearing FAS badges file in. I recognized one of them. Brad Andek, a military division replications engineer I met when I first joined the company, but I didn't think he recognized me. He stayed at the back of the room the whole time, looking distraught. I was about to ask what the heck was going on when a woman wearing hijab walked in. She didn't introduce herself, but she didn't have to. It was Samina Ed Ed Abaji, former lead archivist of Odyssey, architect of the entire Homer project. Not a global celebrity by any means, but if you grew up following the Odyssey project like I did, you knew her on site. Ed Baji, Ed Baji sat down and started asking extremely precise questions about the upper range tolerances of Eternity chips. Then she asked me to speculate about the feasibility of various upgrade paths. The interview lasted maybe 10 minutes, wherein she thanked me for my time and left. Everyone else filled out after her. Security came for me a few minutes later and escorted me to my berth. The whole way back to FAS, I kept trying to figure out what just happened. What was Samina Abadji Eb doing at a classified furrow R&D site? Asked me questions about Eternity Tech. It didn't add up. By the time I landed, I knew I wasn't going to give up until I puzzled it out. The worst that could happen was I was <laughs> I'd get fired and that was going to happen anyway. It took a couple days and some geo work, but I got a fix on Brad and Dex soon enough. He was going to a different bar every night, drinking to the point of blacking out. I shadowed him until I managed to proxy his focus and dupe his net protocols. I didn't find anything strange in his financial records or media patterns. I was starting to think I'd wasted my time. Then I access accessed his Dreambox account and found the journal he'd been keeping over the past few weeks. It was all there, how the world would end. My first thought was, well, at least my mom didn't live to see this. My second thought was that nothing mattered anymore which made it pretty obvious that I should kill myself. All right, gotta be honest. <laughs> I did. That's not where I saw this going. I'm not gonna read the 12th one until I get the 11th one. It was all there, how the world would end. So something that they're making at this site here From the little vantage thing, the only things that we saw it was making were like military type.
Old Gaming, thank you so much for the follow. And Sabotage, thank you so much for the follow. Have a good night, Sabotage. Unless you're saying, hey, good night, then yes, it is. Should I fast travel out of here? Gosh, now I want to get the last vantage. I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna fast travel here. I'm gonna get the metal flower and I'm getting the last vantage. Oh, tall neck locks. Okay. Are they under data points? There are these ones. Actually, I feel like I have, well, I've looked at these ones. I don't know if that's, those are the same though. Initiated routing query, no response. And cauldron logs in here too. These physical priority, diagnostic, integrity fatal, production fatal. I wish I read these when I was like at the cauldrons because maybe like what I saw on the inside of the cauldron have the fastest. I'm from Brazil and I was watching you live and thought it was really cool. Thank you so much. Sorry, it's sort of boring. I was just sort of making my way through um, through some of the stuff I hadn't done yet, and it was just heavy on the reading. But I promise, I'm I'm doing stuff. Getting to doing stuff. Oh my gosh, how did become 107? I have tissues everywhere. How did I not read those sooner? Very cool. Hello from Brazil. Let's see if I can just. Let's see if this gets me up there. left after this <clears throat> the moon's reflected on the river a few feet away a lantern shines in the night near the third watch 
On the sand, egrets sleep, peacefully curled together. Behind the boat, I hear the splash of jumping fish. <laughs> Gosh darn chickens. Hey, if they can just go off and do their own little thing, that would just be... Uh, I'm good with that. I'm good with that. Oh no. This vantage is across the water. I really want to get it though. I'm afraid of swimming over there. But I saw a little repel thing. <sighs> Pass the test. I think we can swim fast enough. I believe. I believe. And. Save here. Okay, we're gonna run, save, and then we need to go across a lake. I'll shake it out later. This game really, it like. <laughs> I feel like I could bore us all. And there they are. Okay. First strike. enough so otherwise you get the little bit of like red <laughs> are those crocodiles of of the robotic very scary kind yes okay we're we're just gonna go for it we're gonna swim as fast as we can that one. Well. OK. 
can't carry more. That's not something. Oh. Day 11. I came out here to die. But instead of overdosing at Wyatt's cottage, I went out walking along the water. I was standing right here when the idea hit me. And the moment it did, I knew I had to do it. So, doesn't end up killing himself, but let's read our last two. Oh, we got a skill. Okay, what do we want here? Um, down. I think I was gonna grab coins for it, actually. Easy. Okay. Notebook. All right, last two. <laughs> a ruined world has never been so gorgeous. Honestly, true. Just, it's, it's the sunsets and the sunrises, like the red. It's probably also like where we're at in the US, like sort of this Grand Canyon, like Nevada sort of vibes, but. Or Utah? I can't remember where we're supposed to be, but yeah. Day 11. I came out here to die, but instead of overdosing at Wyatt's cottage, I went out walking along the water. I was standing right here when the idea hit me, and the moment it did, I knew I had to do it. Hi, Ma. I came here with a duffel bag full of drugs after I found out about the plague. I had a plan, a simple one. I figured I'd spend a few days getting high, then OD on over. I guess I was still furious at Wyatt for aiding and abetting your silence. If everything had gone according to plan, my corpse would have lay rotting in the cottage for who knows how long. He would have needed to lease catastrophic cleaning bots just to scrape me off the floor. Oh my gosh. A skeletal metal finger from beyond the grave. But things didn't go to plan. For some reason, I went out walking before I got high. I trudged along the shore, thinking of all the times we walked and talked here. How it changed over the years. How you stayed the same. Whether I was a high schooler jabbering, jabbering about AP classes or a university student gossiping about my professors or FAS engineer pontification, pontificating about payload yields, you were always there, always listening, always interested, and always encouraging me, of course, spurring me on, onwards and upwards. But now, here I was, an abject failure, standing alone on the beach. As all around me, children chase playbots across the sand. Some bathers bass, families splash in the water or zip past on old-timey boats, utterly oblivious to the mechanical terrors that would soon consume them. Brief moments in the sun, doomed to end in horror and amount to nothing. All your love and devotion, all the sacrifices you made to support my success. What had that come to? Failure. And at such a cost. We never even got a chance to say goodbye. But even if I hadn't failed, if I'd gone on succeeding, would that have been any better? The whole time I was clawing my way up the ladder at FAS, the company's military division was creating the tech that would end the world. I served the same master. Success was a ladder to nowhere. It was just falling off and landing on the vantage project to see it. I don't know why, but the irony of that had never hit me until I was standing on this beach. That it was only because I'd failed and been assigned to vantage, an abandoned time capsule project, that I'd found out the world was ending. Irony? More like a cosmic joke. Why then did the realization hit me like an inspiration? I had to access the tech. I knew I could do it. Sure, in the end, it would probably all just come to nothing, like everything else, but for 50,000 years or more, whatever data I left behind would still be there. It wouldn't be much, but it wouldn't be nothing either. I went back to the cottage, stashed the drugs, called the life spin into town. If I was going to make an end of the world tour, I figured I might as well do it in style, so I leased the Sabara and rode that to FAS. I let myself into the lab, signed out 12 vantage bikes for testing, Put them in the trunk of the Sabara, and the rest is history. It was less than two weeks ago, feels like forever. 
When I started the tour, I'd figured I'd come back here and pick up where I left off. Get high, then dead. But the first thing I did when I got back was incinerate the drugs. All 2.5 months of salary's worth. So that bridge to oblivion was has literally been burned. I don't know how I'm going to die, but I can't be like that. I know how you felt about me and drugs. However it happens, I can at least promise you this. I will die clean. I still have one last bike to sink. One final stomp on the Grand Mystery Tour. I'll see you there. And that, my friends, brings us to 12. Day 12. As we watched the booster arc up into the night sky, riding a pillar of flame, you took my hand, squeezed it, and said, you've written the story of our family across the stars. Hi, Ma. Last stop. After this, I'll have said everything I need to. It was just a routine launch, but for us, it might as well have been Apollo 11. It was my first payload, a secret extractor with an upgraded propulsion system I designed. The vehicle was destined for M89282, an asteroid rich in ruthenium and tungsten, a metallurgic claim as it happened, a family event through and through. So there we stood in the open air as night fell and the stars came up. And of course, I was thinking of that night years before when we watched the pair of seeds together and talked and dreamed of this very moment. You were thinking of it too, because when the booster launched and as it rode into the sky, on its jet of flame, you took my hand and said, you've written the story of our family across the stars. Even then, I knew it wasn't true. The vehicle was headed for a rock, not a star. It was a routine launch, not some voyage of discovery, but my heart was too full to quibble. I just smiled and squeezed your hand back. It was the finest moment of my life. You and me, Ma, onwards and upwards, the start of great things. But after you died, I broke down, and the meaning of that night changed. Everything that had seemed wonderful seemed to turn rotten and false. It seemed false because it was false. I had never written anything across the stars, sure. I'd hoped to work on a project like that, a deep space probe or colony ship, but it never happened. And now that my career was over, it never would. And then, when I found out about the plague, the memory haunted me even worse. Because it wasn't just me who failed to write a story across the stars, you see. It was all of us, our entire species, all of our innovation, all of our tech, all of our striving, and it came to zero. I've been looking up the stars a lot, Ma, and the only story I see written across them is that we are small and insignificant and will soon disappear with hardly a trace left behind. It's a hard story, and I don't like it. I don't much like it. So I guess maybe... What I've been trying to do these past 12 days is tell a different story. Not a big story written across the stars, but a tiny one. Written across the humble earth of the only world we ever got to know. I have no reason to think that anyone or anything will survive to ever read it, but whether that happens or not, the truth of the story remains. That once upon a time, on a planet called Earth, there lived a boy named Bashar, who loved his mother very very much. Goodbye, Mom. I love you. Bashar Mati, son of Amal and Behas Mati, stepson of Wyatt Mahanti. 24 November 2064. Bashar. Where have we seen Bashar Mati? Right? Am or am I crazy? That's Ah, I know that name from somewhere, but where? No, it's none of those. I feel like we saw it in a... The 
artists did a fair bit of research in areas and tribal villages. The art book of their sketches are great. I would love to see how all of the villages came to be. I really like that each of the different tribes have their own, they're like, uh, well, I guess I still don't really know what happens with the world or whatever, but if you think like a post-apocalyptic United States and everything sort of like reverts back to like, like primal, like cavemen type things, um, it feels like appropriate, I guess where I'm getting getting at another edition of Ray's audiobook that was a lot a lot of reading so hopefully you all can uh if you're not already sleeping you will be able to we've seen the last name Mati somewhere and I just don't know where it was Thanks, Ma, for the story time. You're welcome, Gray. All right, well, I'm just gonna let that simmer in my brain, I guess, until it clicks. I mean, it was obviously someone that worked at Pharaoh. Did we see his body in the first... Is he in this first ruins? I don't think so. I don't know. I've seen that name somewhere. Ick. Okay. Um. Oh my gosh. It is 1.30. I know all of you are already asleep, but... Okay. So for next time... We need, oh, we just need a thunder jaw and then we can go back to uh, the hunter's lodge with our trophies. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep the, that as active. We'll just start our stream on Saturday with killing a thunder jaw. I'm looking at the wiki, it looks like he placed some of the other vantage points. Yeah, so I think he he places all the vantage points and it's sort of like his story or whatever. But I think, yeah, yeah, exactly, Gray. But he, he worked at Faro, but before I even like did any of the vantages, I think we got introduced to him somewhere. And part of me thinks that it was in the bunker of the very first, or yeah, it's like in the bunker of like the first ruin that we go to, but I'm not 100% on that. Okay, so that's the next thing we're doing, Thunderjaw. Um, I feel like I should fast travel to this fire here. And then we just into a thunder jaw fight. That's neat. I'm wide awake. It's my weekend. Nice. I'm very jealous that it's your weekend. Mm, do you think Saturday me is going to be very pleased that Friday morning me starts off starts us off here? Saturday me probably won't remember this, and then I'm going to be jump scared, but you know what? It's going to be fine. Let's see. Fine. Ah! Yep. That makes sense. That makes sense. All right. We're going to stop here. Um, I don't know. Did we end up actually doing a lot? I'm not sure. 
Arlia! I'm, I'm gonna pronounce it Arlia, but just tell me if that's not right. Thank you so much for the sub. I really appreciate it. <laughs> He's ready for you. Yeah, that's that's the unfortunate thing because Saturday me is gonna be like all happy, like drinking some coffee, and then it's gonna be like, oh my gosh. <laughs> well, you were distracted. We were very distracted. Lots of reading, which I'm sure was probably like too much for some people, but that's okay. Cause we were playing catch up. We were tying up some loose ends. Um, I think we have one metal flower and one Banuk figure figurine left, uh, which is good because we're gonna do those, the tall neck, and then we're gonna do main mission on Saturday, so. The Shadow Karja awaits you. Yeah, that's the, um, that's the part that's making me a little nervous. Especially if the, the sun ring apparently has, like, an unlimited number of machines at its disposal. Like, uh, both of those items are in the Shadow Karja area. May you may need to do the quest line first. Wait, both of what items? We need to do that quest line first. Oh, I'm not sure. Hey, if there's... Oh, 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 I got you. Great, thank you for the bite of cookie. That's what my heart needed. After all the tears and crying and everything, I will take it. Thank you, Gray. Oh, I see what you're saying, Arlia. Like, I won't be able to just like waltz in, <laughs> waltz in and pick up the last of the metal flowers. Yeah, I think same with the Banuk too. Well. Whatever, whatever comes first, we, we will be ready for it. <laughs> 